Hello viewers, me and team here. Welcome to Let's Play Civilization 4. I think this is episode 5 of the Bismarck series for uh, Phoenix Rising. In the last part, we threw down with Hattie, defeated her pretty soundly, capitulated her, but then got into some dogpiling war trouble and magic rifles and stagnated a little bit, and that's going to cost us in terms of finish date. Hey, nice. A city rate garrison 3 rifle that has no promotions that help it outside of cities. Let's unpause. There we go. So that's a very nice pickup for me there. It's much better than leaving that thing alive and then having it take me out <laughs> in a city with much better odds against me. And to protect that rifle a little bit, I'm going to drop this guy down here. And um, Hannibal's got some forces here, and that makes me nervous. So I'm actually not going to pull the rest of my forces just yet. Because I think I have enough to deal with Saladin. Oh, I already did draft this turn. Regardless, he gets already in 10. That's horrible for me. And unless, of course, I capitulate him before he gets it, in which case I can turn that on <laughs> his opponents in the future. And he's my vassal. Or actually, no, no, I think I'm good here. Also, I've been playing with audio. Um, you guys, uh, I emphasize again, since this has been running for a while, that this is a test Let's Play. Uh, but I figured I'd upload it to YouTube rather than just junking it all after uh, experimenting with it a little bit. And nope, there comes some cavalry. And that's probably enough to cause me grief, actually. So I'm going to try and get there. Fortunately, he has a cannon in the stack, so I don't think he'll uh, try and attack the city straight away with those cavalry, which will give me a chance. I'm going to want to cover these cannons, so maybe, maybe draft some more rifles to help out. Alright, got another rifle there. And yeah, I really have to keep up with the drafting. I want to keep up with my cannon production. And the only way to do that is to consistently draft and bring reinforcements that way. Ah, got it. Also, um, religion is mattering less now. I could go a couple routes with it. How is the rest of the world doing in terms of wars? Nappy and Solomon are still locked in one. Okay. Yao's not fighting anybody. He could declare on me just because of the uh, vassal chasing. Although I could force Hattie to switch religions. Maybe I should do that. Or maybe I can't. She's in OR. I don't know why I can't force a change on her. Maybe she changed recently or something. Anyway, this is fine. I'm hoping she can hold against anything serious from the western flank. Because I need to make some progress here. I've already slowed down my uh, progress in this game quite a bit. And I will admit a mistake. If I had not diverted to music and tried to bomb this city, I could have had rifles sooner. I could have captured this city with rifles. And I could have probably captured both of these cities with rifles before Saladin made it to them. And that would have made all the difference in the outcome of this game. So this is going to be a much slower win because of that mistake. But it's, you know, it's not too critical. I can still very easily win this game. In fact, I'd say it's probable that I do. I mean, there's a chance I could you know, screw myself over or something, or something else bad can happen, and I could wind up losing it. But really, the, uh, it's more likely that something like that doesn't occur. And it's more likely I'm going to wind up winning the game. Okay, so he's dropped some cavalry and cannon there. Napoleon has made peace with Solomon. We just don't like you enough. If I could get her into a different civic or religion, then I could probably change that. Does she not have Hinduism? Is that what it is? No, she doesn't have Hinduism, so I can't swap her into it. Very interesting. 
And actually, she did attack him there. <laughs> Animal's just being a thorn in my side. What a douche. But yeah, he's not doing anything serious, so I don't have to divert a lot of resources to stopping him. Just keep making the riflemen's. Although, I am... I guess I could draft a cap again. But it looks like, for the most part, I'm running out of viable drafting cities. This one is not anywhere near 10% German. So I'll bombard this city a few times. Man, that city garrison 3 is just nuts. It hurts. It hurts a lot. Yeah, I'm pulling away here. Hopefully Sal's not the guy with that power. Yuck. I have a for you, Sullivan. Alright, I'm gonna need the help from these guys. Yeah, I do want to accrue more siege. Yeah, he's still streaming in troops, but it's nothing that's uh, really super threatening, so I think I can hold here. How many times have I drafted out of this city? That globe theater is worth every hammer. What are we at here? Yeah, every time you draft it adds 10 turns and uh, minus the turns that I've spent. <laughs> this city by itself has done quite a lot for me. He's not very good at offensive uses of protect, uh, protective. Cavalry's withdrawn from combat. Uh, my rifleman. Oh, down here. Okay. Withdraw from this. Yuck. Once again, I don't want to rush into that because that would kill me. He's willing to talk, and he's already uh, pretty eager to get this war done. So as long as I can have a chance at capitulation, I'm fine with it. Yeah, money's running low. I'm not doing the best in terms of research or tech any longer. I really put a lot into this war. Even Napoleon's catching up. In fact, they're closing in on infantry. I might have to upgrade a little bit here. With the exception of Saladin, who is uh, doesn't have steam power yet. So he was a good target. Alright, let's see what they do for me here. Lots of rifles and cavalry. We are taking barrage. One of the few times it's appealing, but I mean, look at this. It would have like a 1-2% to 2 chance if I took City Raider 2. So I might as well inflict as much collateral as I can, because it's not going to matter too much on my odds of surviving. So do more damage to the rest of the defenders and hope for the best. We are inflicting decent damage here. Hmm. Now we're having reason reasonable odds. I think it's a good uh, move here to use the rifles now. I have a reasonable chance of winning each of these fights. Ooh, 46%. Or 44%. See how that City Raider 1, even City Raider 2, wouldn't be a huge difference. So bear in mind that uh, building units for the purpose of upgrading City Raider, not that big a deal. You can do it though, but uh, that's mostly just so that you can get units quickly after reaching the technology. It's more about speed than... Uh, combat effectiveness when you're building units to upgrade them. Don't forget that. 
But here we're killing more units than we lost, even though it's not by a lot. We're still managing to do that. Gotcha. He actually has less land than we were. Had he had less population? Very interesting. Well, now she's less land too. And I am pretty highly ranked in land here. <laughs> yeah, that's what you get for joining the war on that side. Idiot Hannibal. And I think it's time to uh, finish this cannon here and start building uh, religious missionaries. Christian, help my production. Actually, no, that there's no point to that. Nobody's gonna vote Solomon winner. Let's just keep making cannons. That's a pretty safe play, pretty reasonable play. So now it's time to turn our attentions on Mr. Dogpiler. He's already thrown away some forces against us. And this won't be nearly as hard fighting as it was against uh, Arabia. And our new rally point is this city. So we'll do that. And yeah, anyone closing in on infantry, or who has infantry, everyone's closing in on it. I want a fast cap of Hannibal if possible. Yeah, we'll combine these guys up. And then the rest can head over there. Let these guys heal up with a super medic. <laughs> Kufa is also not going to be able to draft in the near future. It's fine. We're doing okay now. Now what I want to do here, interestingly, probably trade for scientific method first. Good. Open borders, sure. Does he have anything I don't have? I'll trade him for if he does. Yeah, here we go. Doing pretty well on resources now. I do not feel obliged to believe that the same God and who since my vassalings have steam power, but not biology, I'm going to go for bio. And I'm not going to let any of them research it. That's pretty much the plan here. And I don't need espionage on anyone who's already bent over to me, so we'll just do this. Even though my espionage is pretty uh, pathetic anyway. Well, again, this isn't the most brilliant game in a lot of senses, but at the same time, we've uh, gained a lot of war ground. And so this could be going worse. <laughs> nice withdraw. He probably needs to lose a city to capitulate. Probably just take Leptis and have done. The quicker I can uh, capitulate AIs, the uh, better. But yeah, having picked up that vassal like that, or two vassals, I'm in really strong position now. Especially since they are relevant in the tech picture. Drafting here. Did I settle my first grade general here? I did. We'll keep doing that. Get closing in on City Raider 3 Cannon. City Raider 3 Cannon are pretty good. Or you could take Barrage 3 if the odds are god awful like they were there against uh, the Arabians. Nope, nope. I checked the resource trades with you and that was fine. Not doing anything of that sort. <laughs> Couple cavalry. All right, just keep diverting forces, keep drafting rifles. Finally drafted down to pop five. You plotting war nappy? No, surprisingly. 
He is Hindu. Let's make... I can't make Hattie Hindu. I keep forgetting this. Yeah, I want some dog pile up from Nappy, but he just doesn't like me. Not that I blame him. I don't think anyone left in the world should like me at this point. I am easily the biggest threat to win the game. I've caused a lot of damage already. Yeah, we'll work some rifles back into our cannon production here. I do want to still produce primarily cannons, especially as time goes on and uh, AI defenders get better. I'm going to need increasing amounts of collateral to support my uh, rifle force. <sighs> there we go. <laughs> and then we just keep drafting units. Draft really puts your power up quickly. As you can see, I am climbing. Despite the AI catching up in tech and whatever, I continue to take a lead. Well, here we are. Oh, uh, really not a lot of AI power here. That's good for me. Get some more success farmed up. Ooh, I even got a withdraw on my cannon. Very nice. And look at this. Just more and more units. Good, good. City leaders. Alright, I'm going to attack this city now with uh, good war success. I'll let a couple draft grunts get into the city and take it. Yep. <laughs> Ready to capitulate yet? You are. Very nice. Unfortunately, Yao has assembly line already, or apparently it's Jiao or Joao, I don't know. I need to look it up. I couldn't understand. I couldn't get the thing to play the pronunciation, and reading the description of it was off, too. I guess leave a uh, comment in the description. That should that should work. Or yeah, comment in the on the video. Yeah. Comment on the description. That's great. That's brilliant. Okay, so who's left? Napoleon. I might be able to do a sneak hit on him before he can pick up rifles. It would mean a lot. And uh, does anyone like him? Certainly Solomon does not. What? Oh, Solomon declared I weren't him, not the other way around. But even so, uh, well, actually the only free people, yeah, the only people who are still, still free are cautious towards Napoleon, so. Let's grab this guy next. And then I'll just rally here, wait for him to enter the borders of either me or Sal. He's not going to do much either way. I have enough defending my borders to prevent him from causing serious grief. I know all about griefing. Okay. Kurasan. These guys can stay here. They were good loyal defenders. I'll let them survive there. I'll stay lower the revolt chances. And I should almost be able to draft in these. Yeah. Get more draft waves going. Lots and lots of garbage troops. Oh, oh, oh. Just kind of lost. Why are you going there? I don't have anything rallied there, do I? No. In fact, I don't even need any an extra dude here. Go up there. And yeah, this should help hang on to Saladin. Get more pop. 
Because I really am taking a bare minimum of cities off my opponents before I'm capitulating them. And that has its benefits, certainly. And get a lot of people under your wing quickly. It's a faster way to gain land than slow marching. But at the same time, you do have to watch them from breaking free. Sal still has enough pop to break free. Now, for the AI to break free successfully, it needs to be ahead on both of those metrics. And you see he only has 30%, 37% land, so he, unless he gets more land, he can't break free. Unless the AI knocks him under 50% of his original land when I capitulated, in which he can break free in that case as well. Regardless, uh, he's not going to be able to do much here. He's never going to get free of me. Need to get on my level, son. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to afford any upgrades to infantry or anything like that. <laughs> Use those protective rifle cell. Or uh, maybe Napoleon will come for me, in which case I'll just shred him with cannons while defending a hill city on the border. That's fine too, whichever works. <laughs> oh jeez. Well, I guess that's why I'm number one in power. Let's see. I'm curious what it is now. Yeah, I'm just stretching the gap further and further. That's what she said. No, but um, I am taking a lead in power here. And it's getting more and more sound. Draft, 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 draft. Biology is going to take forever to research, but I'm going to be able to broker so much with my uh, vassals, it's not going to matter. Hmm. The hardest one to deal with is going to be Portugal, I think. I'm really going to need the help of assembly line, I think. It's still just caravels, it's really annoying. This is good enough. I guess I'll bring my super medic along. There doesn't seem to be much point in leaving him. And I'll leave the decent stack here, make it hard for her, Napoleon to do much. Apparently he lost that city. Uh, let's. Yeah, I'm going to attack through Tor uh, to Orle Orleans. Whatever. Shoot. It's so expensive to pay for this many troops outside my borders. Still just on my, uh, at, me, at sea. Does Napoleon not have a standing army? I guess he could have bought out with, uh, Solomon. It's possible. Do not know. I'm actually continue to mass forces. I could stack split, but... I feel like it's an unnecessary risk at this point, especially since I already slowed down my finish date with the questionable music redirection earlier in the game. I went into revolt, but that doesn't put Sal up on land. I'm pretty good. I don't think any of these guys can break free of me now, for differing reasons. Yeah, I'll still vote for Solomon for now. Oh my god. My research is completely dead. Oh, it's because my forces left the borders of my vassals. You know what? I need banks. I have so much military now that I can afford to build them and not run into too much trouble. Let's do it this way. Bank, market, grocer. Did I ever go emancipation? No, I'm just happy because of uh, 
mass vassals and resource trades, interestingly enough. They're willing to talk. I find that amusing. And that will actually bring me closer to the city on a hill. Look at these infantry. There's so many infantry and in arty. Go after the easy target here. <laughs> lots and lots of junk units. No way, man. My vassals do all the work for me. <laughs> How do you just hit assembly line? Oh, cursors, cavalry hitting me. Uh, they're going to do some flank damage to my cannons. Nothing serious. There's so many units. And again, nothing uh, too difficult here compared to what I was doing against Saladin. And my patience against Saladin paid off because my forces here are freaking massive and I'm not going to lose too much. So just uh, keep shipping forces over. It's odd, I'm actually doing better on land to hold my vassals than pop. Whatever. I will take any kind of advantage. Especially since I've not been pro elite this entire game, or even a decent chunk of it. Ooh, I can actually draft in this city itself. No, I cannot. It's, sorry, it's this one that I could draft if it had enough pop in it. Since I've been culture pressing it with my capital. But yeah, if I can shred this and it's not on a hill, then uh, there's a good chance the pulling will give up right then and there. Look at all those catapult deaths. Ooh, he actually killed me. Uh, a couple of my rifles. But he's already wanting to talk, and I'm sure he'll want to play out. Yeah, I'm not gonna let him know. And even though he did flank damage, I can take the city raider. Yeah, and unlike against Saladin, city raider two actually gives me decent chances of survival here, because I'm not fighting city garrison three rifles on a hill. I'm fighting normal rifles on flatland. So that makes a big difference. Even though he's gonna hax me to death anyway. Whatevs. I should have enough damage from my now. Yeah. Game over for you. You loved the war and you got it. Now what are his, uh, <laughs> he's behind me on pop. He will be behind me on land, though. So I think I'm going to want to uh, two-prong. Good old Solomon next. Although I might have enough oomph to win you in, too. But who wants to win that way? Don't need that. And I uh, know Hannibal. We would like you to research flight, sure. Actually, no. The flight isn't a very common AI tech. Let's have him re stupidly research something that AI already has. Actually, I can't afford that either. fine. I'll just stack forces in there. Can I make biology? Uh, the capture gold I just got might help out there. And it looks like he really isn't going to be able to break free. Let's uh, bring him up to date on technology. <laughs> Might as well use him. Oh, 
Well, this is certainly one way to bypass emancipation anger. It's just far mass amounts of happiness from the fact that you own vassals and, and more from resource trades with them. And they'll one for one anything, first, even stuff that they only have one of. Wins. And uh, just use that as leverage. Okay. And then after biology, I have some technology trading to try and leverage. Might be able to put something together. Put a seal up here. It's a lot of units. As long as I don't squander them, I should be able to take out the last two opponents without too much trouble. <laughs> All right. No, I don't have biology. Well, we'll coincide with when Saladin finishes assembly line, and I want to get that and spread it. I want all my AI underlings to have uh, infantry. It is not the strongest of the species that survive, but the um, one most responsive I'll put my research on medicine. I'm probably not going to be able to get another tech in this state. I'd probably need to start building more infrastructure than I have even. Um, 5200. I can actually pick up steam power with this, but nobody else lacks it. What a strange situation. What will you give me for this? <laughs> hmm. Oh, you have military science. What? Oh, he's researching bio. Ah, damn it. I could have used that trade. I might as well get what I can then. You would make a ship sail against the winds. Not gonna broker nearly as much as I was hoping I'd be able to deck? do. I have no time for such nonsense. <laughs> Everyone has infantry, and my significant opponents have rails or industrialism and such too. Let's see, 40, 41% of the world pop, Solomon. That's probably not quite enough to win you in, probably not. Let's just end a turn and see what happens. I'd rather what? Uh, why wouldn't it let me just pull things off the table? Stupid. <laughs> I haven't been as religious about drafting. And that's not good because I'm probably still going to need to be drafting. Yeah, I love you would help out my hero Epic City considerably. In fact, this is gonna be interesting, but we're gonna finish a cannon, then we're gonna build a stable and start working some cavalry into my main forces. In fact, all of my uh, stuff is going to be cavalry now. And my reason for that is cavalry is much, 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 much better against infantry than our rifles, and it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get infantry easily in this game. 
without making it take much longer. Don't need any more espionage Napoleon. These guys have built all the modern stuff, so I'm not going to get anything anyway. Okay. All right. Let's see how you react. Just make sure they don't have a defensive pact with each other. Uh, what are they? Solomon and... Okay, no. Let's go for them. Okay, I have you pursuing culture. <laughs> Whole world goes to war. <laughs> it's fun to do. And of course I will just keep drafting too. A huge army. That's also part of the reason I'm attacking so slowly. I have a huge army. And I don't have the infrastructure developed since I've just been going all out drafting more. Yeah, no, go to hell. What are you going to do? Declare on me? I might be able to um, use her to get assembly line, actually. If I can get enough gold to offset... Ooh, it would be think a lot of gold, though. Well, you look like you could use uh, corporation and steam power. <laughs> Since there's no way he can break free, I might as well make him good. Same as all my vassals. I get annoyed when the AI does that with peace vassals. It makes sense with cap vassals, and they don't do it with cap vassals. But then they do do it with peace vassals. They're like, here, have a bunch of tech. Why? Hmm. Looks like I'd better go up here and help. <laughs> At this point, the uh, amount of impact I make on the war as opposed to my vassals is getting increasingly small. Oh, this, this is Portuguese. Okay. Alright, which of these are not hell? Do that like so. I'm not going to get a lot of reinforcements from this side of the world, so I have to be careful here. But it looks like the Ottomans have pressed into the territory of Sal. And that's just going to be an abstain now. <laughs> Do some French units there. Oh my god. Addy <laughs> took it back. And he is going culture. He might not have anything too huge. Even if he does, he might be afraid to attack a stack this size. Oh my god, even his arty. <laughs> oh yeah, he's gonna resist damage here, like, ridiculously. And the uh, arty will absorb collateral. I'm better off just using City Raider, even though it won't help a lot. Looks like my uh, Coalition of the Willing is uh, helping me out though, and I'm losing money at 0%. Building gold infrastructure was the right call. I'm not crossing a river here, am I? No. Yeah, these already being so much stronger is a serious problem. Because they do not take a lot of damage. 8% odds. Although I think at this point I'm better brute forcing my infantry. Yeah. Ha, I went at 40 some percent odds. Just fight with an idiot tech deficit, who cares? Alright. 
Actually, where did he build the Apostolic Palace? I might be able to capture that. Istanbul. Um, it would take some effort, but I might be able to press over there. Where's my super medic? Did I not bring that along? Oh my god. I totally should have brought that along. I guess he can still make it into my stack, so I'll do that. And we'll just leave like six defenders in this city, so it's going to be hard even for infantry to retake it. All combat. That way I don't get picked off in the field as easily. <laughs> so silly. It's like a terrible tech game, but I'm actually not in that bad of a position just because I have so many vassals that are advanced and they comprise a decent chunk of the world and I have permanent control over them because of the amount of land and pop that I have. So it actually turns out pretty good. Now I'm going to want to keep these, uh, this city here. I might even give Bursa back because it's a big strategic advantage to have that. And it depends how quickly Solomon's willing to capitulate. I think I'm going to have to take Samson to get to him to capitulate and then work my way over to instant. Oh my god, tanks? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, Sal has anti-tanks. I don't, but whatever. <laughs> Run for it, battleships, destroyers. <laughs> I think I'd be hard-pressed to take this. It's going to be a big blow to him if I could manage it. But I might want to combine my arms. And oh god, I got a spire bolt there. That sucks. Draft, draft, draft. Go, go, go. So it's going to be cavalry versus tanks. That's pretty fair. I'm still an idiot civics. When's my next great person? Never. That's what I get for never managing them. <laughs> I love the random AI running in here with their units, throwing away their units to kill his units. And yeah, I need to reinforce up here as much as I can. AI seems content to just sit there. I'm thinking I'll let some of my uh, friends build up some kind of stack or another and send forces. All I know to say there. Like I would ever possibly have anything in Memphis. You got uh, mining ink. Let's check this out. It's Arabian. Dude, don't spread that. Build units. <laughs> Interesting. He's got machine gun defending the city, which also doesn't take collateral damage, much like um, siege units. However, it's not good against uh, siege directly attacking it. It's decent, but it's not good. So what's going to happen here then is I'm going to... Yeah, I already damaged the machine gun. And I can get a couple of these cannons up to City Raider 3 on attacking. So I'm going to try and do that. Done and done. <laughs> Just comical to be like t completely destroying infantry with rifles. 
And uh, once again, I think about six defenders here is pretty decent. We're doing fun on our own. But he does consider me to be winning, and that's uh, useful. I am still first in power, surprisingly, despite my tech deficit. Unit spam has done its toll on my opponent. And unlike the AI, I know how to fight with the tech deficit. Even so, this is this sitting here is gonna be a problem. If I can swing back around and combine my forces, I can probably take it. And he attacked with infantry, great. You know what, I'm going to dump even more guys in here, because this is going to be a focal point for him on retaliation attacks. Meanwhile... Eh, I guess. That's fine. What? <laughs> that's unexpected, but useful. So he's actually getting worn down in city count. If I could break his stack there, I could uh, probably win this war with my rifles and cannons. It's hilarious. Well, okay then. How did he get that? That's... I don't know. That's weird. Tanks versus cannons. That shouldn't even work. It will, but it shouldn't. Lots of unit trading there. Yeah, whatever. I don't care. I have, I must study politics I have the bio. More. That my sons may have liberty I'll to take the ability to make grenadiers, which is pointless at this point. Warships of the line against destroyers. That's also a possibility. Ah, but here's some serious business. We've got some arty in there and everything. Napoleon, could you please get infantry? Do it. Oh, it's taking him forever. Why is he researching so slowly? He's almost as bad as me. Actually, if I didn't feed him tech, he probably would never have caught me. And, um... Ooh, I actually need to take that city, even if uh, Solomon's willing to capitulate. He's getting close to culture. They can really get there quickly once they turn their slider up. But that is one of his three uh, would-be legendary cities. So all is not lost here. <laughs> Unfortunately my border with the uh, Portuguese is pretty long. Can Napoleon get out? No. Saladin's lower now. Yeah, no one's no one has even a chance of getting free. This is good. <laughs> so many tanks. Actually, I'm going to go for pure collateral initially here. He's got some arty in there and some machine guns. But there's enough other units that would take damage from it. And this is just going to suck so badly. Actually, I'm just not going to attack. 
How about that? I will let uh, my AI allies throw some units away here. Refuses to talk. Derp. Go for it. <laughs> there we go. Wasn't really planning on relying on my vassals to win, but whatever. They're vassals, they are meant to be used, so. You do it. Um, maybe a little bit more collateral, oomph. And then I can take this city. I didn't think he would. He's got one of the stronger AI left. He's a big tech lead, whatever. But this is a start. Can I make uh, state property? No. Of course I cannot. Whew. <laughs> Build it. I can already make 10 experience or 11 experience cavalry, so there's no need to invest a further great general there since it's probably going to be cavalry till the end. Actually, no, I want to bring the cavalry. Ugh, oh, come on. Control click should select everything. Shift click should unselect one thing. If something is selected, that you shift click. Stupid GUI. Alright viewers, I'm going to stop this off here. In the next part, we will try and capitulate the Ottomans. So until then, thumbs up if you like the video, the me and team.